Hi, Justine Ramey of Toto's Translator and Home Dog Training here in Indianapolis. We have a beautiful rainy day today. I'd like to address the problem of burning excess energy when you just can't go outside. Uh, the majority of naughty dogs that I see think quintessential naughty, attention seeking, jumping, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the majority of naughty dogs that I see are simply have too much energy. And depending on the breed and age, a walk at human speed is just not going to cut it. Now, a lot of times these dogs do get walked. They do get playtime in the yard, but they still have energy. And that energy that's left over is mental energy. So here are some ways that you can burn mental energy without really having to put any effort in. Um, me personally, I would like it if we ditched the food bowl entirely and switched to using puzzle feeders. These are puzzle toys specifically to feed your dog out of. Um, I still use a food bowl in the morning, but every evening my dogs eat out of a puzzle toy so that I have a free 20 minutes or so to start cooking dinner or whatever it is I have to do when I get home. Um, this is a fantastic way to burn some physical and mental energy, which is huge. Anytime that you compare the two, it's going to be much more effective. Okay, so first up, we have the Kong Wobbler, and it's weighted at the bottom so that it tips back and forth. And we have this fancy little hole here that is going to um, tip the food bowl out. Now, I'm going to start throwing these out here because we have a couple of um, doggies here to help. So let's see what we got. So Wobbler, have fun, Zuna. Okay. Not interested? Thank you so much for being such a good helper. You can have it, Zeta. All right, up next, while they get interested in that, we have a kibble nibble. This is by PetSafe, so you have holes on either ends here. And you can cut these spaces, these little plastic pieces, to fit your kibble so that it comes out at the correct speed. Um, and then the dog, the ball wants to roll this way, but the dog has to tip it back and forth. Now we've got a kibble nibble going here. That's Munch's favorite. So he's got to roll it around and the food comes pouring out. And Azula's getting going with her wobbler. Let's see what we've got for Zeta Bum. All right, Zeta, good girl, sit. This is called an Omega Tricky Treat Ball. And we've got the hole here. Now, you can see that hole goes down pretty deep. This one's actually fairly hard, believe it or not. And she's new at this. She might give up. She might not. Oh, she got some food. She's probably not going to give up. Good girl. Okay, so now we've got everybody busy. Everybody's working on something. Oh, we're going to trade these. That's fine. Now, typically at night when I feed them, they're all fed separately. One, we're going to lessen the likelihood of some kind of fight going on. But also, I know how much each dog eats that way. Um, since we have a puppy in the household, an older dachshund, we want to make sure that they eat the right amount of food. All right. So then you also have puzzle toys like this one. If I can angle the camera right. And here, the dog has to remove this to get the food that's inside. Now... Um, they come in different difficulties. This one's fairly simple, but anytime you get a interactive toy like this, supervision is necessary because we have moving pieces that could potentially be eaten. Um, also, you want to make sure that your dog understands what they're supposed to be doing. Um, so these little holes here are meant to let the dog smell and see that there's food inside. But remember, anything that works is repeated. The other side of that is that anything that doesn't work is, a, is just given up on. So if your dog is not successful at this, they're going to give up on the toy. Uh, and that's not what we want. We don't want them to give up. So show them how to do it and help them be successful. So what I did with this toy is I just flipped the little cups upside down so that it makes it easier to grab onto. Once they figured out, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do, I flipped them back the other way. So here, we'll let Zeta play with this one. Oh, here comes another puzzle toy. Okay, so ideally not the best way to play with this. Hey, hey, hey. Calm it. And we got one just by having big, fat, clumsy feet. Okay. 
So this puzzle toy is on the easy side, um, but there are ones where you can put a piece that locks in and they have to take that piece off. Um, all sorts of things here. You can also make your own puzzle toys. A PVC pipe with a cap on either side and holes drilled through, and you've got a homemade puzzle toy. Take a, sorry, it's getting loud in here now. Take a water bottle and put the cap back on, punch some holes in it, put the kibble inside, you've got a puzzle toy. Okay, so um, you're burning energy huge. You're also sending back the dog back to where it was, you know, 50, 100 years ago where they had to work for their food, which has been the way it was for thousands of years. So dogs uh, appreciate work, they want to work for us, and that's why our whole human-canine symbiotic relationship started, is so that we could work together. So give your dog something to do on a rainy day. Um, a couple other things you could do is uh, play fetch up and down the stairs, make your dog run up the stairs and down the stairs to bring you the ball if he's really good at fetch. Um, play hide and seek, play hide and seek with a treat or with a human. Um, I'll show you guys how to do this in the future, but that's another video. Um, so yeah, invest in a good puzzle toy, maybe two, and let your dog have at it and ditch that food bowl in the evening. Hope you guys are staying warm tonight and take care.